Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jimin Lee here, and today we are back to another speedrun game. As you know, the format here is that we will play a 10 minutes game plus zero second increment. I will try to in like you know go to the game, play the line that I think people may want to see, and try to explain the moves. Also, nothing in process. You can feel free to answer questions to me in the chat. Which I will try to mention and try to answer it all after the game finish, right? So hopefully you will find it instructive and you will find that something that you can learn from. Let's go to the title right away and let's climb up the rating. So let's go. Boom! So we are white against this guy called Isur Matov from Russia, I guess so. So let's play this game E4. E5. So obviously I can play so many things, right? You know, I can even try to go for some kind of gambit. They don't, they don't show a bit, right? They don't show a bit. Also, I can push C4 as well, the bishop opening. But I will play the normal stuff, knife 3. Hmm. D5. Oh my goodness. Actually, it is so nice. To see a guy play the elephant against me. Somehow, so if you want to see, I have a video on this elephant gambit in my YouTube channel, which you can try to figure out, I think, when you find something about elephant. But it is always nice to see this one being played by somebody else. So let's see what he can play here and if he can play the right opening or not. So this is actually a very funny and I think tricky variation when black sacrifice a pawn in order to push our princess back home. Here there are two ways to try. The more rational way is to play knight e5. When black can play bishop d6 here, you play d4, and then you go for the I think bishop pair h. But I think the better way to play for white is always e d5. Ed5. But sadly, he didn't know a lie. The line here is e4. You play like queen e2. But okay, I will mention it after the game finish. So this one actually is already a slight mistake. When I can play nice c3 right away, to put pressure on his queen with tempo, right? Queen e6. Somehow, so things looking understandable. It is kind of clear that he needs to move his pieces, his queen more than once in the opening array. Normally, it's not that great to be done in the opening. I will just play bishop e2. Bishop b5, c6 doesn't really work. Bishop c4, obviously hang, hang a bishop, right? Bishop d3 will block my bishop here from developed. So that's bishop e2. So this, I can play castles, d4, and I can try and go for attack right away. He play e4. So now we have a way to, I think, punish him. I will play knight to g5. Couple attack on the queen and the pawn. He should play queen g6. I think so. But that is still very terrible. I will mention to you later on. So here he played queen d7. Hang a pawn. So time to collect for free. Knight e4. Why not? It's a free pawn. Things are looking not good for black who is down a pawn and also down a lot on the development. I guess the only good thing for Black now is that he is up in the internet connection, you know. He got 4 bars of connection, while well, only 3 bars. I guess it's the only good thing here for him. So now I cast us. My next plan can simply be e one to go for the attack here. Also, I can play d4 to put pressure on him. To go for d5 for instance. Rook e1 now is available, but I realize that I'm not in a rush. Let's play knight g3 first. Run knight away from the attack. Also, I take bishop as well too. Rook e1 can be a nice move, you know. Rook e1, yes it is. So now if you play castles, I can win. Oh my gosh. He fought for that right away. Right away. Which sadly was disputed by me. He should maybe play, I don't know, maybe like Queen 
d6 but still i can go for 6 as well right which still looks fairly annoying but in the game he played here which fought for my tricks and now i win the queen with something called discover attack all right and I win material king beard is going for and we can just take group e7 and now we can start our converting process so now we are having a queen and a pawn against this group right that obviously is a good means of material i mean good means of material we up so the way now is trying to simply converting i think normally by converting material up there are two ways first of all you can try to go for the attack using your material and second trade everything for that reason, Bishop f5 is definitely playable if you want to simplify the game right away. For me, I will go for something which I consider to be much more natural, d3. Before I decide what to do, I will try to get all my pieces out. Which is a thing that sometimes you guys may forget. Sometimes you guys just like put pieces in the corner and try and play with others. Which I think is... A bit unfortunate. Normally, in opening, developing is a very important thing to do when pieces can be a part of your attack, of your assault, and of your plan. Now, if you play, one sub develop and look at the g4, right? Which one g4 I mean? I can play bishop to g5 or f4 or e3, ignore his idea, but I want to keep my bishop alive. So we play bishop f5, trade the bishop first bishop. I don't want him to obtain bishop pair, although that is still completely playable, right? Now, let's start trading. I can surely play like bishop to f4 when he played knight to queen g4, and I'm okay, but I think why I can't try to for the twist right away. Take here now is good, but I want him to take that. I play with the knight here, right? When my knight can be, I think, having a stronger square, I will just focus on keep on developing bishop e3. I can go queen d2 to e1 right now, where my rook can also get involved in the game. I can surely try something more convincing or stronger, but I realize that I can make it simple by just develop first. Also, you guys can understand the ideas easier as well, right? Which is the main reason why I created this speedrun and this content. So now he play here, open up the rook, and he may want to go for bishop g3, which eliminate the bishop, I mean the defender of bishop f5, right? So time to treat. Queen d2. Still the same plan. Rook e1 is next. I can also play as well too. I planned the f4 as well, but then he played here, which even help us, right? Let's just read. So now rook e1 can be a thing. I can try and f4 or we'll go for here. When now my pieces are owned in the places. See now, right? So now the pieces are own developed. Now it's time to do what you want to do. Maybe like bishop g5 and go for some more simplification. You can also push f4 and knight b5 to attack him right away as well. We have some very great things you can do now. Just like depends what you want, right? Everything here are possible. I guess the best thing you can do is like rook to h8 with some attack on this file. But f3 can be done easily as well. But I will mention later on. So now I can go here with f4. But I have mentioned about the simplification, right? So I think I will follow that part right away. G5, trade even more. I can try and take it right away, but I think just trade. And I think this is like, you know, it will match with my playing style in the game, right? Now we trade. This is still a threat right now, right? So queen now to e6 can become a threat. 
when their pawn now can become a witness and we can start to infiltrate on his camp. From here, Queen E8 is going on the spot. So now, I think, time to go. Why not? He doesn't have enough material to go for the h5 attack. Now d4, just like here, when the e2 square is also greatly covered. He has no god of play. Okay, knight e5. So now I can play d4. Get the knight away to win a pawn on g6. But I had, I think, a simpler idea. He played knight e5 because he got a knight on g4 covering knight on e5, right? So what happened if we simply try and beat the knight on g4 away, right? It is called attacking the def I mean, like removing defender, which is also a very important tactical pattern. So f3, <clears throat> a simple yet effective move. Win more material, and the game now is officially I think, over. Now run away here. I got only five, right? If the knight doesn't run, okay, let's do the same. So now time to just trade everything and go for the win. This actually is the spot for the knight to go now. When we just keep on trading and go for the end game, right? Just take your trades, trades and trades. This and this. I will win some more pawns here and start from promoting. In here as well, another double attack. E1, gear 2 make no sense. Rook E7 also allows mid, so now he will keep on losing material, with obviously no cut of play to be seen. Yep. Honestly, I can try to promote to, I think, 5 queens or. Six queens, or six knight, or seven knight, but apparently it's not what we're doing here, right? I am going for a speed run, so I don't want to bully my opponent by doing that. So this is the playing queen f7. Put the rook here and also spot upon from promoting a very simple idea, right? Let's go for the pawn first. Well, I can, but I'm sure we will get to that thing eventually. That's why here I will just make things simpler by meeting him with the queen and promoting as well. He resigned. Somehow, so it will come to a point when I need to meet with Bishop and Knight. But for now, I think in a speedrun game, it should be the best if we can try to meet him and win like with the easiest method, right? That is the way the people can learn easier, and you can also understand the win as well. Which I think you can learn too. You know what I mean, right? <clears throat> so that's just the game. So let me try and go to the game again here to analyze it. Which I think you can try to understand at least more. So, <clears throat> well, I mean, bullying is fun, but I think for this series i just want to play normally and put him on the table so let's go to the game again and make some analysis so here e5 we have three d5 this is called the elephant gambit you can try to follow the video again you can try to see some ideas here which i think i will attach the video to youtube channel for you to follow it below also, for people here, you can search for exclamation mark YouTube, and I think you can see this one, right? So, in the game e5, e4. I'm sorry, this is the main line of e4. So, this is the line with elephant. I think I start play this line since 2019, and I sometimes got some great wins against some strong players, you know? I think I did play the elephant early with Danny, I think, like. Uh, an hour ago, and we almost got a win against him, right? So, this actually was a reasonable line. But here, so there are two lines, as mentioned earlier. 
the main life for I mean the thing that is more common is ninety five. Bishop here, but the knight on e six on e five. I mean, d four, defend the knight. D four, the main line here is bishop c four. Take a five to defend the pawn and go queen h five. Attack both the bishop and the pawn f seven. Right. So the way to play is like queen e seven, queen e five, trip, press and here. When I think normally, like can enjoy i think like a position with i think he's slightly worse white can enjoy a position with some slight edge bishop pair and some more space but this is on fine i think so it is considered to be a more positional way to deal with the elephant gambit but the lie i think is the best is ed5 the lie here that we need to own now is e4 e4 in the united way and this is the main idea of the elephant gambit. So now, why must play queen e2? If you play knight g1, 194, right? Somehow, so the idea of black now became clear. He got a pawn back with tempo and has some more space, which make it look pretty good, right? So in the game, here, so I mean, like, I don't know that. The main line is e4, queen e2. Knight f6 and d3, d3. Knight c3, which is e7, is not too clear. When sometimes black can sacrifice two pawns to have some activities in the e file. I'm pretty sure I have used this one to win with black sometimes in some list games in the past. So the main line to know for white and the safest option is to play d3 and queen e5 to play knight fd2. When the pawn here can be taken in a fairly easy way and you don't allow things to go wrong, right? This one is clearly the easiest way to try to go for white in the elephant gambit. If black plays precisely, when the game, he plays something wrong, like queen e5, which allow me to go for some activities instantly, right? Queen e6, defend a pawn on e5 and run the queen away, fair enough. Bishop e2, I play in the game, e2. I just want to develop now and go for the castles. I think the main line, the best thing we can do here is maybe like to also go for the same thing, because like now here, castles, bishop e, and then d4. When I can try to open up some more space here, and his pieces will feel a bit harassed, right? When I think I can be able to put pressure on him and attack the king on the center, he can run, but he can't hide, no, no, I don't say that. That is something from song lyric. But he can play ed4 here, I guess so. I play knight b5. And I have some activities here with my pieces. So, <clears throat> b2 in the game, e4, g5. As I mentioned earlier, the best way to play is queen g6, I think so. But here, so I don't have a strong plan with d4, which I can defend the knight on g5 with the bishop, right? Here, so black will really want to take in person, but he cannot. He can play here, and now the skewer literally is at the game. You win military by force, right? When things can't be stopped. So, in the game, he played queen to e7, and I just take a pawn for free, right? Free pawn? Why not? Right here in the game, castles, bishop f5. And knight g3 play in the game. So here, black should play bishop to e6 to cover the open file. d4 play castles, and I think I'm still a pawn up, but things may not be that easy. In a game, so black defended worse, but here, and we one now comes. In fact, this is already very annoying. Wait, if you play queen here, I can play many stuff. But guys, can you find a move here for white? Can you fight a way now for white to win another pawn? Why to play and win another pawn? I think that would be the best way to convert here. You can play here, 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 or here, here, or even here as well. But here you can play a move here to win more material. What is that?
Knight b5, queen d. I mean, knight b5, he can play queen d8, you know. I think it is still good for you. You can play d4 and still get a very strong edge. But I think the best way to play is simply go for this move. When you can just win another pawn, right? Why not? When here, play here and you want another pawn. Rook b8, just like retreat. And I think you just like the pawn for free. Or even like knight e4, right? When things are gonna be good for you. Two pawns up. Better development. Things looks perfect, right? So in the game here, he played castles, which obviously is bad defense. But now, even with the best defense here, like this one, Black is still in big trouble, right? So in the game, castles here, I win the queen, and then obviously after that, it's just own conversion process, right? Somehow, so obviously, I can go for some other things, but in the game, I just show you, I think, a grid technique of converting by simplification somehow so i can surely try something like bishop to f4 him this way or bishop f3 but i just don't want to do so i just go for the treats and i treat everything here make sure he doesn't have anything else right and that's the way to try to go for the converts with the convert somehow so i assume the best way to play is with shape but it's we're not do things here i can just play like maybe f3 you know just not away my king can run the f2 with safety so his plan won't work but in the game he didn't play that allow me to go for some more tricks right which in the game work out very well for us get no activities here and then just can take the pawn the pawn the pawn and win the game somehow so in the game we win the material here this way and the game now become very very smooth right win a pawn push Push, push, win upon again, and he resigned. Somehow, so I won't say it is a very good game, but I think like he violates some opening principles. He just moved his queen so many times in the opening. Also, he did not really focus on his development, right? Which you can see in the game pretty clearly. Like his king here is still in the center after a few moves, and I got the attack here on his king, right? Which looks very annoying. Somehow, somehow, so it is a thing here that maybe attack, and somehow in the game it proved to be working. In general, so we feature a line which is called the Elephant Gambit, a relatively rare variation, but definitely a playable, I think, a playable weapon if you want to go on up it. I got that in my own prep, but suddenly now people don't know how to deal with it, so I kind of very rarely use that. But I still can use some time, you know. In the game, so he went something wrong, instead of e4, he played queen d5, which allowed me to go for some activities, for some tempo, and after that, things became clear, right? That he struggled to fire a plane, and he got attacked, and that's when he finished. Do you understand? In the question, actually, and we got a huge break from Daniel. Oh my gosh. Thank you, buddy. So I'm doing better right now. Thank you for it. Actually, I'm also will end very soon too. But this is like I'm talking about speedrun game when my opponent go for the Elephant Gambit. Which I just played against you a few games ago. Right? And somehow I just play ED5 here. In the game, you will get me play 95, right? Play ED5 here. And instead of the main line e4, my opponent went for a wrong thing to do, like queen d5, which allowed me to go for the attack. And after that, things became fairly forward. So, GG's, and wish you enjoy the game. Thank you for hearing, and hope you give me any feedbacks. And see you later.